Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in this beautiful deck, Sincerely Yours, the Divine Masculine XO by the Empress M. So we're going to connect with this message and see what they want you to know. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. They're giving me some fear straight away. They're giving me some fear straight away, which means they're in fear about certain things. And we're going to find out what they are. So those two cards very clearly wanted to come out. I feel there's still more, though. What else do they want to say? Wow. So quite a few cards have jumped out. I'm going to take them. So I feel that these are the main messages. And then these cards are perhaps going to clarify everything else. So let's see what's going on. So the first message is the stars are aligning for us. So powerful. So on this powerful day, Friday the 13th, if you're watching this in real time or whenever you connect with this reading, remember this reading is timeless. It finds you at the right time. The stars are aligning. That means you're being guided back together. The timing is becoming perfect for you guys. The timing is aligning and the stars are aligning. Everything is happening the way it's meant to, to bring you back together. The stars are aligning for us and I feel I'll get through this. So whatever they are going through, whatever they need to do, whatever changes they need to make, whatever struggles they're experiencing, they know inside because they feel it that they'll get through it. And you may be feeling that too. You may feel like, wow, something is happening. Something is shifting. The stars are aligning for us. And I feel like we'll get through this. I'll get through this. And the reason why your person isn't saying we'll get through this is because they need you to know that they need to do this themselves. They need to be able to stand on their own two feet and step forward and take the lead and do what they've come here to do. Instead of saying, I feel we'll get through this, they already know that you'll get through what you need to get through because they know how strong you are. And they know that you'll be together, so you'll get through things together, but they feel like they can come out the other side of their own pain or their own struggles or their own issues because this is a soul connection. Wow. So no matter what these other cards are, this is the message today. They're saying to you, the stars are aligning for us because this is a soul connection. I feel like I'll get through this because this is a soul connection that we share. And they are aware of this. They're saying, I know now that this is a soul connection that's assisting me and helping me. And I do feel like I'll get through all the challenges and struggles and drama because things are aligning for us. Very powerful. Now, the rest of the cards, I feel these are clarifiers about this message here. So the day I turn my back on you still haunts me like hell. So turning their back on you could be not being there for you when you needed them or ghosting you or ignoring you or blocking you or walking away from you or acting like they don't care or whatever they've done. Going back to the karmic partner, whatever they've done, in their mind, they're saying that day when I did that haunts me and it feels like hell to me, which means it's painful because hell is really about being separate. You know, we think about hell, we might think about a place that's got fire and brimstone and where we're being tortured, but really hell has been separate from God. And they feel like they're in hell when they feel separated from you, when they feel apart from you. And it's not even the separation as in the distance or the fact that you're not communicating. It's when they know that they've hurt you or they've caused you pain and there's no going back from that. But they can make up for that. We spoke about that yesterday. So they're saying to you, I don't want to hurt you anymore. And the day that I turn my back on you, it's on my mind constantly because you are my one. Not you are the one, you are, but you are my one. And that's again, that's kind of that you belong to me energy, which they were talking about, you know, earlier in the week. You know, you're my one, you're the one. It's always been you. And they know that. They know it's always been you and they're saying it's always been you. You are my one. I can't believe I turn my back on you when I know that you're the one, you're my one. It's always been you. And that haunts me. And I'm seeing the signs about us because I know that this is a soul connection. I'm seeing the signs because the stars are aligning for us everywhere we go. So many admire, admire me, but they're not you. And this is very true. This is also you too, okay? In other words, you know that you are attractive. You do. You might think, well, I don't know. Of course you are. You are beautiful and strong. If you're a guy, you are handsome and amazing. So there is people that admire you. 
Now, that could be family, friends. You know, it could be very platonic, that admiration. But you also are seen, you know, you're seen by other people. You may not notice those people because you're not interested, but you are seen. And your person is well aware that you are attractive and you get attention. And you may be focused on the people who admire them and, you know, are around them. But what they are saying to you is those people aren't you. Remember, this is that galactic night energy again. It doesn't matter who's there. They only see you. There could be a thousand people in a room. You're the one that stands out. You know, think about in the Matrix when... Um, the, the guy is showing, is it Mouse, is showing Neo the, the program with the, the girl in the red dress, okay? There's all those people there, but she's the one that stands out. And they give me fear. And that may bring fear up in you, but you stand out. So many admire me, but they're not you. And I feel that someone needs to hear this who's in a celebrity connection because, you know, when we are, you know, when there's a celebrity, when they are a celebrity, there may be people admiring them you know, fans or people watching them or even other celebrities. And what your person's saying is so many admire me, but they're not you. And, you know, this could be in any situation. I'm not saying they have to be a celebrity to be admired. They could be admired at work. There could be someone watching them at work. You know, they could have a friend who really secretly wishes that they were together with them or they've got people around them, just like you've got people around you. But just like you don't notice them, they don't notice them really either because their eyes are on you. But they are saying, don't worry about who's around me. I only want you. I'm remembering you, who you are. You're the one that matters to me. And that's what they want you to know. And they're saying the saddest part is waking up and realizing it was just a dream. So this is another sign they are dreaming of you. And they may well have had a vivid dream about you last night too as you're watching this video. Or if you're watching this before you go to bed, it's very likely they're going to dream about you tonight. And it's going to upset them because when they wake up, they're going to realize it was just a dream, which means that they will have had a really beautiful dream about you. It will have been an intense dream, a dream where you shared lots of intimate moments and love. And they don't want to wake up from that dream. And that's why they're saying, wait for me, please. Please don't go anywhere. Please don't meet anyone. Please don't be with anybody else. Please wait for me. And remember, it's not about waiting. It's about living. It's about enjoying life. But they are really hoping that you don't move on. Wait for me, please. And please pray for me. So again, there's this please energy, which is very needy, you know, very kind of desperate energy coming through from them here. Wait for me, please. Please pray for me. Please help me. You know, they are kind of asking for help here, which means they need to trust themselves more. And pay attention to the lyrics of the songs you hear because I'm showing you that I've been dreaming about you. Look at that. I'm showing you that what we have is magical because this is a soul connection. And I'm showing you through music that this is a once in a lifetime love. I'm just remembering who I am. So they're remembering who you are and that's helping them to remember who they are. I'm remembering who I am, that I am part of a soul connection, that I am a divine mask and that I am a twin flame, that I am this amazing being of light, having a human experience right now. I'm remembering who I am. It's showing me that the stars are aligning. It's giving me strength to get through this. It's helping me to know that this, that we share is a soul connection, that this is a once in a lifetime love and I'm not going to miss out on this love. So again, there's this feeling where they've been dreaming about you and realizing it's a dream and that causes them sadness. And they're thinking, I don't want this to just be a dream. As above, so below. I want to bring in the love in the physical because being apart from you hurts me. I don't like being separated from you. I certainly don't like feeling separate from you because of the things I've done. I want to make up for it. So it's a lot like when, you know, if we go back to the religious energy there, where we could say hell is the place of fire and brimstone, but really hell has been separate from God, you know, separate from being away from our father so when we commit sins if we don't repent for those sins or if we don't make up for our past actions then you know we feel separated from God and it doesn't feel very nice it doesn't feel nice at all you know it feels cold and cool and cruel whereas when we apologize when we make up for what we've done when we show God that we you know we we are sorry and we are forgiven then we feel his love again. And it's the same what your person is going through. And that's why we can make hell or heaven on earth because you can live a joyful life. And even if you haven't got the things that maybe you're wanting right now, you can still feel full and complete and satisfied because you have heavenly love around you. 
and you feel at one with all things. Whereas when you feel separate, when you were, you know, really feeling like there is no God or you're going through pain or you've got no faith, you feel like everything is bleak and that's when it feels like hell because you feel separate from everything. So remember, this is about your person saying to you, I don't want to feel separated from you in any way, shape or form. I want to feel the warmth of your love. I want to feel the power of your love. So I know to do that and have that, I need to make up for the past and apologize and make it right. And that's what they intend to do. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.